let's talk about math and science. Hey grown-ups, Shelly here. I'm awfully glad to see you today. Last time we met, we explored my family's garden. Gardening is a great way to introduce math and science to young kids and older kids too. When we think about math and science, sometimes that can sound pretty overwhelming. We remember the classes that we took in school, in elementary school, in middle school, in high school, maybe even college. And for some of us, they weren't easy and they weren't fun. But it's hard to think about introducing our babies, toddlers, and preschoolers to those concepts that we learned when we were older. But that's not where we start when we're teaching about math and science. The ideas and words that we use for babies, toddlers, and preschoolers with math and science are very different. They're words like bigger and smaller. They're comparing words. Even colors can be part of science because we're observing and we're talking about what we see. And we can experiment. We can smell. What's the difference between sweet basil and lemon basil? How would we describe those? Those are science words that are really important to starting the foundation they need to take those science classes that we remember. So let's look at the garden and see what kind of describing words we can use. Here's a very small cucumber. What kind of describing words can we use? It's light green. It's a little fuzzy down there. It's pointy. It's sharp. Those are good describing words. It is smaller than the leaf. This is a bigger cucumber. We're comparing the sizes. Look how much bigger one cucumber is than the other. That's a good thing to talk about. Big and small, bigger, biggest. And look, the sharp pointy things are gone. I wonder why. It definitely makes it easier to harvest and to eat. That's a really cool thing. And of course, we can count the cucumbers. We can measure how long each cucumber is. That's math and that's science. It doesn't have to be complicated, and you're probably doing a lot of this already without realizing that you're giving your kids a solid math and science foundation so they can grow up and love STEM. Friends, thanks for watching, and we'll see you again next time. Bye!